All right, let's do this. So Capcom finally dropped some more dev footage for us with Lily versus Honda. And damn, they took their sweet time, man. Tekken released like three trailers over the week and the weekend. Looks like they're going to release these every single Tuesday or something. But it was on five o'clock on the dot. So I'm excited to break this down. Uh, we pretty much had barely any Honda footage as well. So we'll take a close eye on Honda. I guess first, let's watch this in real time. And then, uh, then we'll break it down piece by piece. Two Unga characters collide. <laughs> You're right at the start too. <laughs> Damn, the pressure. So colorful. Ooh, that was a beefy combo. Nice Kara throw set up there too. Damn, that did so much damage too. It was like half her bar in an instant. There's that sick range. That corner pressure. Scary. <laughs> I love the Honda's new V skill animation. It's sick. Definitely not Lariat. <laughs> Ooh. The command throw damage. Oh my goodness. Remember guys, Lily's definitely not a grappler. <laughs> my god, that did so much damage. Man, there's a lot of stuff they're showing on this match. There's a lot to break down here. There's the Condor dive. I was wondering what was taking so long. Yeah, it's scary seeing Honda drive rush towards you. Ooh, that was pretty sick. <laughs> what? Man, that, that animation was amazing. We actually saw part of that now that I, I think about it way, way back when they first showed off Honda. I think that was the non-CA version. Boom. Okay. I figured they would favor uh, Lily mostly because, you know, she's the newest character. But they showed a lot of Honda footage too. Alright, so let's break this down. I'll try to focus on both characters at the same time. I'll do my best. I'll pause it when we need to. <laughs> so we see the, the stocks already from both characters. Uh we see Lily get her Yeah, the wind clad stock. Thanks. And I don't I didn't see it go past one, right? Because we had mentions of the audio leaks before that uh it might have a max of like two or three. And then we see Honda as well do his V skill. So this is Honda's V skill too, where it empowers his 100 hand slap. In Street Fighter V, it made it so he can cancel normals that weren't normally special cancelable into 100 hands, like his forward hard kick, for example. And it also allows him to combo afterwards. He gets He's more plus when it hits. But it mentions in the PlayStation blog for Honda that he has access to both his V skills. Even his V skill 1, that's the one where he claps and he can clap uh, projectiles and he can cancel that as well. But we'll see if we can see it in the footage, but we know it exists as, both as special moves. So Honda's got a lot of utility as well. So both characters are just powering up. This is already a concern right away. I've seen Honda use his V reversal on this Condor uh, Spire. Like that implies that it's plus and that she gets pressure from this. And you can see how close, it's not even spaced, right? She's just, just doing it willy nilly. And I'm assuming it's because she has the stock, right? It empowers it. We know it does three hits when it's empowered. And, and uh, Honda doesn't want to deal with that, obviously, right? Because she has a very threatening command grab. And this just shows that if Lily even gets away with one stock and she gets on you, 
You can be in big trouble. You can already put put in the blender. So yeah, Honda doesn't want to deal with that. He does uh, drive reversal, and once again, drive reversal is actually pretty strong in Street Fighter VI uh, because it's throw invincible in this game. So even if Lily went for the command grab, for example, uh, not in this case because she's still in the air, but if she landed and Honda did it after, it would be relatively safe against command grabs. There's that forward hard kick. See, once again, now you see here, this is just a normal Condor Spire. Looks like the light version. And it looks pretty well spaced. And they both they both try to take their turn. And they hit at the same time. So I'm going to assume that maybe she's it's zero, zero on block at that range, and they both just do a four framer. Cause yeah, it looks pretty well spaced. This is interesting, too, because I've been wondering this for a long time, and I'm like, hey, with this drive impact, uh, how good are these kind of moves are going to be? These unga moves like Honda's headbutt or Blanca ball, you know, these like really telegraphed moves that are abusable in past Street Fighter games. Will drive impact make these moves pretty weak, you know? But we see here that Lily does exactly that she uses drive impact to counter honda from bullying her and honda recovers in time now obviously this is the light version of headbutt i'm assuming it definitely looks like the light version is a little slower so i think what honda players can do is they can bait they can bait the opponent with light versions of the headbutt to kind of just you know fake them out and, and bait them to do a drive impact and then if you do that then you can punish them with your own drive impact. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to assume Blanca, Blanca works in a similar way. You know what, Blanca, he can land in front of you and just grab you. But for, for Honda, I was especially concerned. I'm also concerned about the butt slam, the same exact uh, thing. I wonder how he deals with that. But we see one of Honda's new moves. This can be done as a launcher. It has several follow-ups to it. And this is just going to help Honda uh, land his level 1 after and... Uh, continue uh, combos, right? It's just to add that Street Fighter 6 flair to Honda where he's not just, you know, killing you with one-hit moves. He's got some combos, too. And, he, and that did a lot of damage, man. Like, a lot of deeps. Let me check here. Plus the drive impact, too. And we see he... He comboed that. He canceled that from the first hit of the standing heavy kick as well. A lot of damage. It's pretty sick. Nice. That's the classic. So he basically did a, a Kara throw. Standing medium punch. Cancelable into down forward heavy kick command normal. Assuming it's still the same command. And then he he cancels that before it hits. Into the OD Ocho throw. A lot of damage. I'm glad it's still back. I'm assuming it's still an overhead uh, attack as well. Classic. No one can stop me. That was a lot of damage in a very short amount of time. And you could just see on the round on the round start in neutral. You know, Honda's he's got some range too, you know. But Lily, like that whiff punish, whew, really nice. You know, Lily's movement speed doesn't look fast at all, because you know, she's like that T Hawk archetype. But with the normals, it really makes up for it. That whip punish, and then with the drive rush system, it converted into a lot of good damage. So right here, look. I think against Lily in particular, it's going to be very dangerous to back rise on her. Because you see, it's this is, this is completely intended, by the way. Like, this is 100% Capcom's intentions that... If you back rise after that Tomahawk Buster, she's a perfect spacing for Condor Spire. Look, he's, she's plus. She has no stock. This is a normal Condor Spire, and, and Honda has to hold that. And if the opponent doesn't back rise and he just quick rises, right, then I'm going to assume Lily is going to have the threat of getting close for the command grab. Because she, she doesn't look like she's in command grab range, but she's enough to pressure you, you know? So I think it's that's really cool for, for Lily. It's a huge reward for knocking you down. Oh, there we go. So we see two stocks. So we saw her. She gets one stock here. 
and then she gets another stock with the attack. So once again, she has two. She has basically three animations. She got a light version that that gets the stock quickly, a heavier version which gets the next stock, and then uh, an actual attack where she swings. And when she swings, she gets a stock as well. You can see it go to two. And look, she looks like she tried to DI the the butt slam, but obviously that was way too early. And I'm gonna assume at this angle too, the butt slam would go on the other side, right? <laughs> that animation's great. So once again, in case you guys just missed it, Honda did his his V skill too. That's the animation for it. <laughs> the sumo spirits, man. Bless him. Such a good animation. So yeah, that's plus, dude. Look at that. Okay, so right here, unfortunately, so Lily tries to do looks like a Condor Spy right here. And if you look really carefully, uh, when Honda kicks her, it's a counter hit. And she loses the stock. So she was just about to do a move there that was enhanced. But she loses it, unfortunately. So she has one more stock left and uses it right here. And once again, it looks like it doesn't matter what range she's at. If she does the Condor Spire that's enhanced, she's plus and gets pressure afterwards. Honda clearly tries to do a hit there. He gets counter hit. I don't know if she's like plus two or even plus one, but that's very scary because look, look how she's standing right next to Honda. So that means if Honda holds that, he can get command grabbed. You know, this makes Lily just so dangerous. Uh, if she gets these stocks, like priority one is making sure Lily does not get these stocks. Nice little light confirm. And you know, the the level one super didn't do too much damage because, you know, it's a level one. But what it did allow, though, is her to get another stock again, right? Because she's full screen away, gets the stock. Another good thing, too, is like if Lily's being pushed out or you're trying to zone her and you're, you know, not letting her get in, this giving her the stocks is going to allow her to get in. You know what I'm saying? And there it is, guys. There, there's our worst fear. Drive rush into command grab. We finally get to see it. Like, just no tick throw, nothing. Just straight up. Just rush down, command grab. And look how far away she did it from because of her normals. Boom. Look at that damage. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's so nuts, dude. It's so nuts. Like it like out of all the different archetypes in Street Fighter 6, grapplers are the most interesting because of the drive rush system, how they play. It's it's so cool. And once again, she gets another stock. And we saw here too, Honda, he did his light headbutt, and you can see it's spaced. Like she wasn't punishing him or anything to even try to attack. So this time here, right here, you can see Honda was scared of the command grab. Clearly scared of the command grab. And then Lily goes for a low light this time. Right? Catches Honda trying to jump out of the command grab. He gets hit, gets put in the blender. And then it back in the same situation. Oh, was that a reversal? It, it was, but it was an armor. Interesting. So, for the longest time, we're assuming that we have a theory that every single character has some type of uh, invincible reversal in Street Fighter VI. They're trying to, like, streamline and make every character have, you know, access to the same tools. And even though this was armored, it doesn't look like it's invincible. But I'm going to assume this was the OD headbutt is armor frame 1. Because in Street Fighter V, it was armor frame 3. So it wasn't a real reversal. And I wonder if this is throw invincible. I wonder if Lily did a meaty throw, if it would have stopped this, right? We know with, with JP, he's got a, uh, the OD counter. That would be like his type of reversal. Zangief, it might be his OD Larry. We don't know yet. And um, I'm the only character I'm not 100% sold on having a reversal is Dalsum. 
But it's cool seeing this. It looks like armor frame one. So here we saw this is Honda's new move again. You see this different ender. Instead of Honda launching straight up, he falls up with a palm, right? Gets the distance. I'm assuming this is good for Honda getting his V skill up, but he already has it in this case, right? Oh, look at that dry rush. It goes nowhere for Honda. Look, guys. It goes nowhere. Where are you going, Honda? Poor Honda. He's a sumo wrestler, man. He should be able to charge you hard for that. Uh, was that an enhanced? This is the OD version of the enhanced uh, Condor Spire, but it seems to do the same amount of hits. Still does three hits. I'm going to assume it travels further. It's definitely faster. Like, it's really fast. <laughs> yeah, we saw the Condor dive like once. I really want to see what that looks like on block. Like, I wonder if she just bounces off you really far away, you know? And you can't stop her, but I doubt otherwise he'd be abusing like crazy. Oh, was that was all crouching lights? Look at that. Is her crouching light punches chaining into themselves with a different animation? That looks really cool. What's up with that? That looks really sick. Uh, you know, now that I think about it, uh, Jamie's got something similar with his standing light kick. He kind of dances and kicks with both his legs. That's really sick. I. I I really like that. The chains, even, it doesn't look as um, jank, you know? Like uh, when a character just chains the same light punch over and over again, it looks kind of jank, right? It's old school. But I like that they give a unique animation when you press the same button over and over. Very cool. I also noticed Honda, he did a drive rush with the crouching medium kick. So I'm, I'm wondering, it didn't look plus, right? But that's interesting that he did that. Like, I wonder if it's cancelable, if it's something similar to Kimberly, maybe, where it's not cancelable. And this is something, like, a lot of Lily players need to look out for. If, you, if you're if you too predictable with the Condor Spire and you're, you want to get in there too hard, uh, the opponent will neutral jump you. And Honda's got one of the best neutral jumps in the business because of his, uh, the, the, the jumping hard punch, right? Look at the deeps. This is sick. Okay, so keep in mind, Honda has um, his stock right now. You can see the hand underneath the, the life bar. So once again, it works like V-Skill 2 in Street Fighter 5, where it's more the hands are more plus, and then he can link another hands afterwards. And he goes right into level 3. And man, this animation's amazing. Like, they... Kakam has done such a good job on, on the level 3s. They look so good. It adds so much more personality to the character because Honda is a sumo wrestler. You know, the ring of fire and all this. It looks great. Like I said before, we had a preview of this in the old footage uh, where it showed the CA version and Honda does a headbutt at the end on Guile. This is great though. I want to see this against Marisa. <laughs> Or is it Zangief? Oh, that new move looks pl uh, safe. The OD version. He just throws it out. And Lily doesn't try to stop him. Interesting. And we see the target combo, light punch, medium punch, headbutt. <laughs> that throw. And Lily's strong, dude. Lily is... <laughs> Super strong. She she just tossed Han over her shoulders. Uh, Lily gave him a taste of his own medicine. Same thing, being too predictable. Neutral jump hit. Easy punish. And by the way, she she comboed into her uh, wing clad stock special. So she got a stock from that too. If it didn't kill him. Boom. I'm excited for next week though with Cammy. Who's Cammy gonna face though? I kind of want her to fight. Oh no, they want to put it against Dalsum. I feel like we need better Dalsum footage. 
The last awesome footage we didn't get was good. We'll see, maybe another character we haven't seen in a while. If it was, I was thinking not Dawson, just because she was going to rush down Dawson really hard. JP would be sick, but I think we got spoiled on JP footage. We got a lot of good JP footage. We'll see if it's poor Dawson getting rushed down. That'd be hilarious. And then we can finally see uh, Kami do some raw dive kicks. 